Greetings everyone. Dimple here welcoming you all to today's session on Android Framework Components. Uh, today we shall see what are the importance of event log messages in Android. So basically when we are triaging a particular issue or when we are debugging uh, any issue, we need to understand what's exactly happening in the device at the time of that issue. So event logs will help us to understand what exactly is happening in the device, uh, which I mean is which app is running or uh, which service is running in the background, uh, whether the device is booted when the issue happens, all this information I'll come to know from event logs and the different states of an activity like on start, on pause, on create, on resume, all these will be listed when exactly all these are called along with the timestamp. So these information will definitely help us to triage a particular issue. Uh, that's why I wanted to uh, take this topic out today and show you all the importance of event logs in Android. So let's get started. Before moving on to the actual log messages, I just wanted to uh, open this particular file and I wanted to show you all how to collect event logs. We use adb logcat minus b events, this command to collect the event logs. So we collect uh, connect our device to the computer and through adb we run this command and all the event logs will be collected. So let me open this file. Uh, so this is how the event logs looks like. Uh, we can see uh, this particular activity, am finish activity, am means activity manager. This particular message is coming from our activity manager service and uh, finish activity. This particular activity com abc rx, this has been finished. And again, I'm pausing it com abc rx. So like that, we can see on top resumed on pause called and on restart this particular app is restarting and it's starting again so the different uh, life cycles of an activity we are getting to know uh, similarly if we scroll down we basically come to know what is exactly happening in our device at the time of the issue and along with the timestamp these event logs are actually captured uh, it's like this or uh, I am on paused so that particular uh, launcher Android launcher is paused and uh, what exactly is happening which activity is started documents UI activity is started all these different things if we go through each and every line we will definitely understand the, the sequence of events happening in our device so that it helps us to uh, triage a particular issue so this is how the event log looks like some of the important messages we'll see today coming back to our presentation um, first log message i wanted to see is am underscore create underscore activity so as i already told am stands for activity manager and we are creating a particular activity and this is the uh, format of this particular log there will be some integers there will be the package names and all those things so what exactly this log message tells this am create activity tells that a new activity is being created in an existing task and its format details are given below uh, user id so whatever i see here zero that is the user id and each one is uh, the importance of each integer value here is explained so this will be the token id eight will be the task id component name string so this is the package name of the application which i'm trying to install packages dot abc dot droid application this is the package name i'm trying to install and action string this is my action string it's like an intent action right so Android intent action main this is my action string and these are the different uh, things like mime type URI here my mime type is null URI is null and flag value is given as uh, 27054 so uh, the importance of each uh, value here separated by a comma and it's uh, uh, use or meaning is explained in this particular string so this is the user id this is the token id this is the task id and this will be the package name which which is created actually and this is the action the action string uh, mime type is defined here as null and the uri is also defined as null and the flag integers so this is all about i am create activity let's go to our next log statement i am resume activity
so on resume activity uh, it's again whenever an activity is in resume state if we know the life cycle of an activity we'll understand when exactly this resume will be called uh, i have done videos on activity life cycle you all can go back and watch through them to understand more about the life cycle of an activity so again here uh, it's the similar thing so on resume activity when this will called when the activity comes to on resume method we can see this log in the event log so the first one will be user integer then we'll have the token the task ids the package names so similar to the previous slide whatever i showed so activity has been resumed and it is now in the foreground whenever the activity is on foreground this on resume activity will be called am on resume called is the activities on resume has been called so these two will appear together always and here we can see the package name the component name the reason all those things so this is about on resume activity i wanted to tell you all next is i power screen state when will this power screen state be called a uh, similar to this on resume we will have on pause on start all those i didn't take everything to explain here just the uh, different types of logs i am explaining here similar ones i have not explained so i power screen state so this is logged when the screen is turned on or off whenever we uh, power off our device how will we come to know we can see this power screen state message in the uh, event log so i is nothing but the information and the different states so first parameter indicates the screen is off or on so zero means the screen is off one means the screen is on second parameter is uh, because of the user who actually initiated the screen off is it because some app is offing the screen or manually the user is uh, turning off okay it's that and the third parameter is total touchdown time how long uh, the power button is pressed to of the particular screen and fourth parameter is related to the touch cycle so power screen state will be seen when we uh, turn on or off the screen okay let's move on so related to power screen state uh, i just uh, wanted to tell other uh, related logs so we saw power screen state this is logged when screen is turned on or off power screen broadcast send there is another important log message this is logged when the screen on broadcast has completed when the screen on i mean uh, when the screen whenever we try to on our screen back a broadcast event is sent to the android system telling oh user is requesting to turn on the screen please turn on so when that broadcast event has been completed this message will be seen and when that broadcast is done okay this is logged when the screen broadcast has completed and 160 is the total broadcast duration this is the time taken to execute that particular broadcast intent okay uh, the first parameter is on state and the third one is the wake clock count so whenever we send uh, uh, intent or broadcast to power on the device how long that is taking that is explained through this particular command next i wanted to show you all is boot progress start so boot events boot related events also we can see in our event log so whenever the android device has started booting we can see boot progress start command and 7979 what's that so this boot progress start is nothing but monotonic clock values in milliseconds it means that the android screen is lit and the startup animation is displayed which indicates that the kernel startup is completed okay uh, the android device uh, logo whenever you reboot your device it is in this particular screen kernel ha startup has been completed it's the framework which is getting started and this is the clock value how long it is taking to this boot process to start so that was boot process start related to boot process we have other commands which i just wanted to show you all so boot progress preload start that means the zygote has been launched 
okay boot progress preload and end of zygote so we all know zygote will be the first process to be started during our booting of the android device uh, related to this boot cycle or boot events i have done one video you all can go back and uh, revisit that video to understand the exact boot cycle of how the android device will boot itself we all know zygote will be started first so boot progress preload start zygote will be launched and preload end zygote will be ended and this is the time uh, taken for that particular process that's displayed in milliseconds boot progress system run that means system server is ready and start to android system services like package manager app manager all the different system services are starting when this particular message comes in event logs so when boot progress enable screen comes in event logs uh, the activity manager startup is completed and enable screen after boot is called to lit the screen screen i mean you can see the uh, screen is lit now uh, sf stop boot animation this log is seen in the event logs when the system uh, marks the system to end the boot animation which can be used to track the time consumed by the end of boot animation so this is nothing but the end of boot animation uh, system is telling stop boot animation event is called okay uh, wm boot animation done the boot animation ends this step users can feel the end of the boot okay wm is nothing but window manager so from window manager boot animation is done message is sent uh, to the event logs whenever uh, the boot is ended so this was very important and i hope you all understood uh, by each message we will come to know what exactly is happening in the device so that uh, we can understand more about our android device yeah a uh, few important uh, log messages from event logs i have explained in this session but yes there are other log messages also related to activity manager mainly and i cannot cover everything in one session it will be a long session and boring so i have split this into two sessions so here in the first part i have showed you all few activity managers boot events and power related uh, messages in my next session everything i'll be showing about the activity manager related uh, logs in the event logs so uh, this session will be continued as part 2 i hope you all enjoyed part 1 and you all got an idea of what exactly is happening in the device and how to see those events happening in the device through event logs how to collect these event logs uh, i hope it was informative and helpful and you all enjoyed it i'll see you all soon in part 2 where we will see more about the activity manager to find logs in the event logs Thanks everyone for watching until then everyone take care bye bye